Within the archipelago of the Philippines lies a martial art so lethal it's earned the title Yoyan, the Philippines' most lethal martial art. Introduced to the public in 1972 by Napoleon Fernandez, affectionately known as Master Nap, Yoyan is not just any martial art. Drawing from his diverse background in martial arts such as Jeet Kune Do, Karate, Eskrima, Aikido, and Judo, Master Nap reimagined and fused these arts, creating a form tailored to the Filipino build, striking and lethal to opponents. At first glance, Yoyan might mirror Muay Thai, but look closely and you'll see the difference. The unique hip torquing motion, the downward slashing kicks, and the focus on launching attacks from a distance set it apart. In Yoyan, mastery is key. Practitioners start with 45 foundational kicks, but as they advance, they move on to more intricate strikes, demanding utmost dexterity and flexibility. Some of these signature strikes, like the Yoyan back kick, the mountain storm kick, and the famous scorpion kicks, have even graced the motion pictures, leaving audience awestruck. Every hand movement in Yoyan tells a story, and every strike has a purpose. They're the empty hand echoes of bladed weapons. Forearm strikes, dominating palms, the fluid 12 bolo punches, they all draw inspiration from Arnis, the Philippines' indigenous armed combat. Yoyan is holistic. It embraces the ancient Philippine traditions of grappling, ground fighting, and knife fighting, ensuring that every discipline is well-rounded, adaptable, and ready for any confrontation. Yoyan is more than just a martial art. It is a testament to Filipino spirit and ingenuity, a dance of discipline, a symphony of strikes, and an embodiment of martial heritage. <laughs>